Oh man, the wind's really picking up. So I turned the camera off and hitting the road. All right, I got the camera back on. You guys can see this. We made it. It's 10 till 6. Let's do it this way. I don't know if you can see me or not. But we made it to the park. It's 10 till 6. I think the gate opens at 6. So I'm going to use this time to get my gear rigged up and be ready to go. Yep. Doing all right. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Oh, I will. The gate attendant just came to open the gates. So here we go. We're heading in. Going to the launch. Leash, waterproof box, depth finder picked up, garage, life jacket, sharpies in the box. Let's check that. I'm good to go. done. Let's go talk to the camera in the dark for a little bit. Oh. So here we are. Here's my baby. It is currently 623. I can't launch for another seven minutes, but I'm ready to go. The lines in isn't until seven. Gives me half an hour to get to my spot, which is about a mile, mile and a quarter away. I should be able to make that. I actually came to Loafers Park East. The original plan was to go to Cedron Creek, Cedron Park, whatever it's called. But until I get a pedal kayak, I got to fish with the wind. Checking the wind last night finalized my decision of where I was going to go. I should be paddling with the wind in the morning to get to my spot and then with the wind when it changes in the afternoon to get back to the ramp. So that seems to be the obvious safest decision. So here we are. And now we wait. It is 6.30, it's go time. We are in the water. Almost. Come on. All right, now we're in the water. Oh, this water is clear. Holy cow, it's clear. All right. On the road. 
sunrises over the water are always the prettiest. We got 14 minutes to lines in. Go ahead and drop my depth finder. Tournament this weekend is using eye angler. So hopefully it's as easy or easier for me to figure out because I'm not very technologically advanced. Again, this is Central Texas Kayak Trail. This is their first year in existence. This is their first event. And we are at Lake Whitney outside of Waco, I believe. Whitney, Texas. I'm excited to be a part of it. Oh, there's my alarm. One minute. Still 6.59. 7. Oh, there it is. 7 o'clock. Line's in. Come on. Come on, stickworm. Oh yeah, no, this is way too shallow. I mean, fish could be in here, but those grass be more successful, I think. But this is all sand. One more cast and we'll head on down. All right, this spot's no-go for me, but it was good on the map. There's some rock walls. Wonder how steep they are when they hit the water. Let's do a DT10 and find out. Yep, it's a fish, it's a fish, it's a fish. Oh, that's a good fish, that's a good fish. That's a really good fish. That's a really good fish. Come on, don't lose it, don't lose it. Gotcha. Oh yeah. Rapala DT10 for the, for the win. Whew. God dang, how big is this fish? Whew. Look at that. Big O chonker on there. 18 and a half. Mouth closed. Eighteen and a half. Heck, yeah. What do you weigh? Three seven. All right. You get to go home. Go, let go of my thumb. Sweet. Man, the wind's really picking up. It's supposed to shift and push me back towards the ramp, but it hadn't shifted yet. <sighs> All right, I'm not liking this area. I'm gonna head back to the ramp. Not leaving, but 
there's an area on the other side of the ramp that I want to go to. So I'm turning the camera off and hitting the road. See you guys when I get there. All right, I got the camera back on. You guys can see this. So just past the ramp, there's a marina that I wanted to Holy crap, that was a struggle. Made it back to the ramp, got some water, had a sandwich, back again. I really need a pedal drive. We're gonna go try to get out of the wind, get back into this marina. I believe it goes a good ways back too, so we'll see. Oh, this feels better. This feels much better. All right, let's go fishing. It's weird when I go to paddle and I miss the water because I'm on top of a wave. I spent an hour paddling back. It's already calmer back here. Got some floating docks to my left, floating docks to my right. Stop it. Minimum's 12. Oh yeah, we're getting to the minimum. Mouth closed, 14 and a quarter, 14 and a half. Almost 14 and three quarters. Fourteen point five. All right, buddy, you get to go home too. Really, just all carp, every single fish down there. Uh, let's just go through a drop shot somewhere. There we go. Be a fish, be a fish. It's a fish. Be big enough. It's pretty small. Might not be big enough. Let's see. Minimum's 12. Oh yeah, it's, it's the minimum. All right, this one is, uh, you gotta, why are you bent? Mouth's closed. 14. 
Come on. There we go. Fourteen. Sweet. Oh, yep. Mm -hmm. Get ready. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, go. Sweet. Number three. Get some more of those. There we go, there we go, got a fish. Oh, he got off. Current time is 1.51. Gee whiz, really? Got a wind knot in this thing? That's not good at all. Jeez. Oh, last cast, that was the last cast with this bait. With this rod. Maybe it'll be a good one. Well, let's see. Okay, whatever. It still casts a little bit. It ain't broken, broken. Golly, at least I still cast that far. I have to restring it when I get home. It's 2.12, it's about 2.30, I'll head back to the truck. The line's out isn't until three, but. <laughs> God, this is ridiculous. Y'all see my line? Right here? That's just nasty. Oh, shoot. Oh, that's the problem right there. This piece. Could be a fish munching on my bait right now, but no, I gotta fix this. Oh, there's a fish. There is a fish on my rod. There is a fish. Oh, and he got off again. Gosh darn it. <laughs> there could be a fish in my line. Smart person would just switch rods. Caught three, lost two, jacked up my spinning reel. This has calmed down a lot.
headed back to Austin. Finished seventh out of 17 anglers. It says 18, but one guy dropped out. Caught three fish, one really nice one. The other two were a little rinky dink. I did lose two more fish, kind of upset me. But man, that wind picked up there for a moment and scared the crap out of me. Pelican held up, but I desperately need a pedal kayak. All in all though, man, Lake Whitney, I'd fish it again, it was nice. Supposedly it's more of a striper lake. Never caught one of them, that'd be fun. But there's lots more places I didn't get to see today. Hopefully I'll come back. But like I said, all done, headed back to Austin. I'm gonna get on the road and uh, I'll see you guys soon. Thanks, bye. <laughs>